Hey beauties, welcome to my kitchen and today what are we gonna do? We are here to clean your brushes and we got some dirty ass brushes here today. But we're gonna get started, but before we get started, I'm gonna tell you what you need to clean all these different types of brushes. We're gonna have some olive oil, we have some washing up liquid, we have some shampoo, and of course we have some beautiful alcohol and not the kind I'm gonna drink later. Or maybe I will, no I won't. Okay, so first up we're gonna start with our ceramic brushes. Ceramic brushes are our metal brushes, and this is one <laughs> dirty ass brush, it's really bad. And um, these are very easy to clean and you should be cleaning these every week or every two weeks. Just clean them often because scalp gets in there, skin, hair, build up from all your products. And the cleaner you keep your hairbrush, the better for your scalp, the better for your hair, and they last much, much longer. So we wanna make sure that we're taking the hair out first. I like to use a comb to be able to take some of the hair out. So if you wanna get in between the bristles, you slim, simply slide the brush down the bristles, and you can see already all of that hair is starting to come out, or you can brush the comb straight through. And you will see it gathers all the hair, taking it away from the surface, and you turn your brush as you're bringing it down. And then you start to gather the hair and pull it out. You can take it out with your hands, Hold it up to the light so you can see those stray hairs that you want to get out. Make sure you get every last one. And it's okay if there's one or two left in there. We're not perfect. Because this brush is metal, I like to use a deep cleanser. And the perfect deep cleanser for that is washing up liquid, or you can use like a really strong detox shampoo and it's gonna get it really clean. So I take a bowl of water and I take a little bit of our washing up liquid. You don't have to use too much and I place it in, give it a little mix around. Now, when I'm cleaning my brush, I like to just swish it, make sure you get all the water around the brush. And then I take a toothbrush. I take a small toothbrush, a kid's toothbrush, and I start to clean, and you scrub up and down the brush. Usually I try to keep it in the water so I don't splash it all over myself. And you scrub gently, getting all of that buildup off the brush. Now, when you're using um, heat protectants or you're using oils and you're blow drying your hair, there is always a remnant on your hair. So when you're blow drying your hair, it generally always gets stuck to the brush. So we wanna make sure it's clean. If your metal is clean, it heats up better. It stops icky stuff sticking to your hair that might be on the brush, especially when you're using heat. Okay, so once we have the brush nicely cleaned and it's starting to gleam, and it smells delicious. You can take your brush out. Oh, the water's, <laughs> water's filthy. This brush has not been washed in years. <laughs> and I'm not lying. I found it in, I don't even know where I found this. <laughs> it's so old. I think it was in the garbage. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's some dirty water. So once this is finished here, you're gonna rinse it underneath your tap and you're gonna make sure that there's no residue of washing up liquid and that it's nice and clear and clean. You're then gonna set a towel and you're gonna place your brushes to dry naturally. Don't, you don't have to put a hair dryer, heat or anything like that. Just leave them out to dry naturally because everything is better when it's natural. Okay, now my brush is dry. Now I wanna make sure that it's nicely disinfected. So I like to keep a spray bottle of alcohol for all my brushes to keep them nice and clean and disinfected. And I give a light spritz around the brush, just like that, it doesn't have to be too much. And that's it. Then I leave it out until the alcohol evaporates and I put it back in my beauty drawer. Next brush is the Boar Bristle Brush. This is always a hard one to clean because this one's so dirty. Where, where did I get these brushes? <laughs> I don't use these on clients, I swear. So these bristles are very close together and they are boar bristle. So we wanna make sure that we're cleaning them very gently and keeping them intact. So I like to use either another boar bristle brush against this, or you can purchase these. I was trying to clean this earlier, it's like pubes. Um, we're trying to keep them clean and we wanna keep it like gentle, so I use a boar bristle brush to clean a boar bristle brush or some sort of brush made of hair. So you're gonna gently rub your boar bristle against your boar bristle. And you can see that, oh God, I just swallowed some of that. Ew. 
and you're just going to gently clean through and then you have some ridges coming through here as well I like to also take a pin tail or something that looks like this and just bring it through the brush and pull out any excess hair in between the ridges and make sure you get it all out just in case there's anything close to the wood on the inside once you have that done you're going to just take that hair grab it and then dispose of it into the garbage okay all right so once that's clean we're going to use something a little bit different we use washing up liquid for our metal brushes because we wanted a really deep cleanse but I like to use um, shampoo, AOB, it's mine. And this is very gentle on the brush hair. So you're gonna put, I'd say, just a few squirts of this into your water and you're gonna mix it around and just use your brush to mix it and turn it. There we go. And you can simply use your hands to clean this brush. I like to massage this brush and be very, very gentle with it moving it around cleaning with your hands and also cleaning the wood and you make sure that you get in between the ridges with your fingers as well just to make sure that you're giving it a good clean oh my god this water is just filthy or you can take the other boar bristle which is also dirty we'll take that little bit of hair out no and then you're going to you can clean with this brush too so we can use um the boar bristle hair to clean a boar bristle hair or any type of soft brush and you're just going to bring it through now with that you're going to rinse it underneath the sink make sure that there's no shampoo left on it and then we're going to leave it out to dry so this has been rinsed it's been set out to dry now with the ceramic brush i did use alcohol with this i'm actually not going to use it because it'll dry out the bristle and i want to keep this brush as long as possible because they're even more expensive <laughs> so just let this dry naturally we don't need to disinfect finally we have our aob um, bamboo brush so you if you have a wooden brush or if you have a bamboo brush we want to make sure that we are cleaning this properly this is used on a daily uh, and we use it on dry hair so we want to make sure that it's constantly clean every time you use it so to clean in between the bristles i like to use another like a pintail comb or some people call it a rat tail comb and i just take it in between the ridges and i pull the hair out just like that you can see it all raising there and then I take my hands and just take the hair out. Always be gentle with your brushes as well. You don't want to be too vigorous because you don't want to break the bristles or pull bristles out. We want to be as gentle as possible because brushes aren't cheap. Okay. So once you have the hair out of the brush, we want to give it a quick wipe down. So these brushes have pads with air in them but we want to be super careful with that we don't want them to fill with water because it can create mold on the inside and that's with any brush that has some sort of air pocket so make sure that you're not getting too much water on the inside and if you do make sure that you dry it upside down so any water inside can start to drip out and um, but i try recommend not to dip it into water so you're going to wipe it down just with a cloth soapy water maybe and then just dry it off with a paper towel and once that's done we're going to oil our brush so if you have a bamboo brush or a wooden brush you simply take some olive oil we have a little container so we'll pour some out here now you need just a few drops of this oil like i mean that's it like a tiny amount that's even too much so then you make sure you use a soft bristle brush we don't want to scratch anything or damage and then we're just going to simply dip that brush in the oil a makeup brush is perfect something that you use for your bronzers or powders and then you're simply going to brush your bamboo or wooden brush with oil this will help keep your brush for longer and I recommend oiling your brush every month. Once a month is great. So wipe your bristles with this as well. This will help keep them hydrated and it will stop them getting brittle. And just make sure that you cover all the wood. It'll give it a nice shine and luster. It looks so good. And then you're just gonna set that aside and let the wood absorb the oils. Okay that's it i hope you enjoyed my video i hope you learned lots of lessons if you have any questions leave them down in the comments don't forget to click the link follow me all that good stuff and i'll see you all soon
Bye.